This is Dave Dreher with Gruesome Magazine and Horror News Radio. I'm here tonight with the impeccable Doc Rotten. We're going to talk Leatherface. Doc, are you ready to talk horror icon? I am. I'm ready to talk about the the sequel, prequel, nobody asked for. <laughs> I love it. I don't think it'll be on the box. <laughs> no, it won't be on the box. <laughs> well, the interesting thing about uh, Leatherface is that it's actually not a terrible movie. It's not really a Leatherface movie, but it's not a terrible movie. <laughs> Uh, All right, I'm just confused. I'm just confused now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am too, and I suck. All right, so Leatherface is about um, it is about the Sawyer family, and the uh, this is when uh, years ago when Mama Sawyer uh, is uh, out and about, you know, kind of running the clan, and the kids uh, kill a young uh, girl who happens to be the daughter of the sheriff, and the sheriff is a mean old cuss who gets his revenge not by killing anybody, but by taking away the children, all of them. So he does. He takes away all the children and he puts them into the state, and which, uh, you know, gets their names changed, and, and, they, and they're there for ten or more years. They're just about ready to turn into adults. And, uh, <laughs> and Verna, Verna Sawyer, played by Lily Taylor, uh, you know, is, is trying to get them set free. She, hires, she gets married, hires a lawyer. And when they that, that, those plans go south, she ends up setting off the chain of events where uh, the the inmates or the children, because they're treated like inmates, are um, can escape and they're on the run. But these particular kids are demented, and there's four of them and a nurse that they kidnap uh, as hostage, and they're basically on the run from the police trying to get to Mexico. And that's basically what the movie's about, is them trying to get free. So it's a road movie, kind of, almost? <laughs> yeah, a road movie by way of, yeah, yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah we'll call it that. But it's, uh, it ends up being, uh, I mean, it's plenty gory, it's plenty violent, and uh, it, it's fairly interesting, and it's well shot, it's well acted. Uh, Stephen Dorff plays the the Texas Ranger, the sheriff guy that's after them. Um, we get Finn Jones, Iron Fist himself, as a deputy that shows up out of the blue. Uh, but you have uh, Sam Strike as Jackson. Uh, you got uh, Vanessa Grassi. You got Nicole um, uh, Andrews and and, um, and a number of others. But you, what I discovered is that this film wants to be a mystery and forgets to let you know. <laughs> well, that never ends well. No, it sure doesn't. But uh, so that 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 was a weird thing that kind of happens in this movie. It's it's a very strange piece of film. Uh, I don't hate it. I mean, I didn't walk away from this film going, "God, that I really wasted my time." I actually enjoyed it. Um, I ended up watching it uh, twice uh, for this uh, review, and it it plays really well the second time. Uh, and holds up, but it doesn't become a Leatherface film until the very ending. Uh, it is shocking. Things happen you don't expect. It's gory and violent, and there there is a lot peop you know that horror fans will like out of this. If it wasn't called Leatherface or had anything to do with Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, it probably would be a much better film. That was the, the what I've been dying to ask you is how will hardcore, you know, saw his family folk feel about this movie? Uh, I, I think they will be um, livid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the best way to approach this is uh, kind of forget, you know, kind of put aside the fact that it's Leatherface um, or don't take it so seriously as that. It just doesn't really work. But. At its core, it has interesting things that happen. Okay, the, the 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 fact that you don't really hate it is really kind of good enough for me. Uh, but you got to tell me your favorite scene and your overall score, Doc. All right, my score from one to five is I'm going to go right down the middle with two and a half. It's uh, it's well done, well shot. The acting is great. The directing is is solid. The effects are great. Cinematography is great. 
uh, the story works. The problem is not a leather face film. <laughs> uh, my favorite scene, there's, there's a scene where the um, going through a cow field, three of our, our young heroes on the run have to hide. And they hide Bantha style. And it's really gruesome and fun. <laughs> and it works out really well. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thanks, Doc. Appreciate you filling us all in. I think it's time for us to say goodnight and get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. I'll look for a review on an upcoming episode of Horror News Radio where we'll all get to chime in. All the clan will get to chime in on their thoughts of Leatherface. But right now, this is what we got. Good night. Good night. Be sure to visit GruesomeMagazine.com to listen to the other gruesome podcasts, Horror News Radio, and Decades of Horror. Also check out the Gruesome Magazine Quarterly, available in digital and print-on-demand format. <laughs>